Okay, um, so I've done, uh, I guess, the, the basic series of mouth shapes, at least enough of them to do a test of uh, uh, my lip syncing uh, uh, stuff. So let me show you. This is A, the letter A or I, the one that I showed you uh, before on the last thing. This is the letter E. Uh, this is O. This is W and Q. I'm thinking I'm probably going to use this as U also. What I'll do is probably a transition between O into this so that uh, the mouth kind of goes U uh, as it sort of does already when we, we say that word. But if that doesn't look right, then uh, um, I'll make a, a different U shape uh, somewhere between this and this for U. Maybe like a little bit raised and uh, a little bit wider than this, closer to that. This is M or P or B. This is uh, F and V. This is TH. This is L. And these are all of the consonants. Uh, S, G, K, D, all of the other stuff. Um... And this that they're all resting on is uh, some Van Aken clay. I mixed it together to see if the, uh, the I could get the colors to match the Play-Doh, uh, the lip colors. And that way it'll it, seem like uh, the lips are made of the same uh, material. You know, it's like their skin. Um, Cool. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use this clay, the Van Aken clay, to try to sculpt a head onto which I'll be popping each of these uh, mouth shapes as we move forward from frame to frame. The animator's clay. And this is what I'll be sculpting the head out of today. Um, I mixed this color last night. Uh, really this morning, I mean, if you want to be really technical about it. Um, and uh, I'm very happy with it. However, I have to say, mixing oil-based clay by hand is no joke, dude. My hands are still sore from it.
This won't be how I do the pupils on the eyes. What you really do with these things, instead of, um, bring the camera to me instead. Instead of doing that clay pupil on the eye, what I'm going to do is uh, actually drill a hole into this ball bearing, um, paint around the hole black and in the hole black, and that makes a pupil. And because there's a, there's a hole there, I can take my little um, pointing device here and stick it into that hole and then move the eyeball around that way. And then that way they can focus. I mean, the other way to do it is to do this and then just move these around. When I want him to, to look around, I move these little pupils around, you know? But then they may not line up uh, where I want them to, and they might come off. I might move, screw up the shape of them or something or or whatever, you know, so... It's better to have, like, the thing in the eye itself. But for the purpose of the test that I'm going to be running, uh, it's okay to, uh, to have, uh, the pupil, you know, just be what it is. A little wad of clay. And you can see with these mouths, it's very South Park, you know? Um... And I'm cool with that. Color looks a little weird on this. Doesn't it? Or is it just me? I don't know. It's probably just me. But they uh, they just pop on and pop off, as you see, and they, you know, switch the mouth shapes, and I can like move the angle of them around uh, to give uh, different um, attitudes. You know. Seriously, that was like an hour or less. And I'm I'm okay with this as a working model. Let me keep playing with it. See if I can do anything with his eyebrows. The eyebrows are very important for these things. I mean that's where most of the emotion comes out of, if you've ever watched Wallace and Gromit, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> 